Welcome to this Windows Server 25 Basics video. In these videos, I will go over basic concepts related to the administration of Windows Server. In this video, we're going to talk about demoting a domain controller running an earlier version of Windows Server. As Windows Server 25 becomes generally available, you'll want to make sure all of the domain controllers in your environment are running the latest version of the operating system. Part of that process is, after you have introduced your new Server 25 domain controllers, that you remove any domain controllers running earlier versions of Windows Server after you've transferred away the FISMO roles from those servers. We covered promoting new Server 25 DCs and moving FISMO roles in other videos in the Windows Server playlist you can find below. Today's video is about demoting a Windows Server 2016 DC and removing the Active Directory role and features. The easiest way to trigger the demotion process is to attempt to remove the Active Directory Domain Services role from the DC. You can do this from the Remove Roles and Features wizard available from the Server Manager console. When you select the server that hosts the Domain Controller role, and choose to remove the Active Directory Domain Services role, you get a validation warning indicating that you need to perform a demotion. From here, select Demote this domain controller to start the Active Directory Configuration Wizard. On the Credentials page of the Active Directory Domain Services Configuration Wizard, select which account you will use to remove the domain controller role and whether or not you want to force removal. Before you get to this step, make sure that you've removed any FISMO roles that the server hosts and that the DNS settings for the server are pointing to one of your shiny new Server 25 domain controllers. You need to check this because some domain controllers point to themselves for DNS as they also host the DNS server role. When you get rid of ADDS, you also get rid of all the Active Directory integrated zones the local DNS server hosts. Generally, you won't need to enable the force removal of this domain controller option. That tends to only be required when you are removing the last domain controller in a domain or forest, or something has gone spectacularly wrong with the deployment. A warning is also issued about DNS and the global catalog. Ensure that not only are you pointing the DNS settings of the server at another DNS server, you have updated your clients to point at another server. An alternate option is to configure a DNS forwarder, so any DNS traffic to the newly demoted server is forwarded to a DNS server that will provide a coherent response. You select the Proceed with Removal checkbox and click Next. On the new administrator password page, you'll need to provide a new password for the built-in computer local administrator account. The computer will still be a domain member after you demote it, but it will need a separate local admin account even if you disable it later or configure it to be managed by local administrator password solution. On the review your selections page, I can press a button to see a PowerShell script that allows me to automate the demotion process. To start the removal, I click Demote. The domain controller is removed from the domain and all of the DNS records associated with the domain controller are also removed, so future clients logging on won't be trying to locate the server. You want to do a graceful demotion because if you just turn a DC off and not demote it gracefully, there will be a lot of stuff left in DNS that will cause confusion for the other members of the domain. The computer bounces, I sign back on with the domain account. Now that the role is removed, I can remove all the role and features files. When you remove the role, you're prompted with a warning icon asking you if you want to promote the computer to DC. Instead, what we do is go back to remove roles and features under the manage menu and remove the Active Directory domain services role. This prompts the computer to restart again. When we log back on, we find that the server is a member server and that the Active Directory role is no longer installed. 
At this point, you can remove the server from the domain and retire it, upgrade it to server 25, or repurpose it to do something else. By removing this older server from domain controller duties, you have improved the security of your domain. And when all of the old servers are retired, you can bump the Active Directory functional levels to Windows Server 25.